So I first heard of the term MGTOW a couple of years ago, I think it was back in 2015 or so, and it was quite fascinating to me, all the content that there was on YouTube about it, and I found the videos really engaging, and men had a lot of, men still have a lot of interesting things to say regarding the subject of women and dating and, you know, just living a free life, stuff like that. But what I see often in the MGTOW community is that uh, men have resentment or like bitterness towards women. And I've got, a, I've got a theory why this is. I think that most men are dealing with uh, women that are just low quality. And this is not only a thing that is strictly among females. This is something that we find in men too. You're going to have a lot, lot of low quality men out there too. But another thing that I think has also contributed to women having disrespectful behavior or just like um, indifferent behavior towards men is because a lot of simps have been complimenting them online, just throwing a lot of their non-sexual attention for free at these women who have done nothing but post an image of themselves online or a video of themselves online and they haven't provided any value so they're just so used to getting all this free attention so in that sense it's both the men's fault and the women's fault because women are just responding to how men are treating them online and even in person, men just tend to shower women with compliments because this is what the Disney programming, the Hollywood programming has done over the years. So that's one thing that I think has caused some bitterness and resentment. But I think something even more important is that, like I said before, men have been dealing with low quality women and they don't really know exactly what they're looking for because they don't believe in their own value. So they tend to just go for whatever pussy is around. So I think one thing that can help men a lot is to raise their standards, raise their bar when it comes to women. Now I myself, I have over the years had a little bit of experience with women, not too much, but um, I understood the value of having high standards for for a relationship when you're going for the long-term thing with a woman. And that has paid off tremendously, having been married or having been in this long-term relationship now for over four years. And one thing I can say that's very important is to have multiple common interests with this ideal woman that you're looking for. And how you do that is by making a shopping list. So this is the kind, only the kind of woman that you'll accept for something long term. In the meantime, it's good to have a lot of casual relationships with women to build your confidence and not to accept anything lower than what you're looking for on your list. So I'm going to share with you just an example, a list that I have for someone, if I'm ever looking for something long-term again, if something, or let's say I was single hypothetically and I was looking for something long-term, this is the, these are the attributes that I would look for in a high quality woman. So these are things that are important to me. Everyone's list is gonna be different. So number one is vegan. Number two is fit. Number three is grateful. Number four is minimalist. Number five is sexy. Sexy is subjective, what some men find attractive, other men might not. Number six is confident. Confidence is a universally sexy trait and financially free. So what that means to me is someone who's got a lot of time available on their hands, someone who isn't working the nine to five. So it could be like having an online job, something like that. So number eight, sense of humor. Number nine, honest. Number 10, trustworthy. Number 11, sexual. I've got a high sex drive myself. 
So if the if I'm a woman in my life and can't keep up with that, then it's obviously not going to be much fun. Number twelve is a feminine. Every masculine man wants a feminine woman. Number thirteen is a good communicator. Number fourteen is purposeful. It's always good to have someone in your life that has a purpose, that has something other than you going on. Number 15 is an antinatalist. So I don't want a woman who wants kids. That's actually, over the years, it's become eternal for me. I really don't want that. Number 16 is an atheist. Number 17, Compton Cook. <laughs> I've become pretty good at cooking myself just because I enjoy it, but it's always nice to have a woman that can bake a cake. Number 18, rides for transport. You know, I don't like handbag basics that are into cars and handbags and shit like that. I like a woman that likes to get on her bike and do the eco transport, you know. Number 19, open minded. It's always good to have a woman that can expand her horizons that isn't stuck on limited beliefs for the rest of her life. And number 20, brave. It's not, bravery isn't essential. That's more something for men but it's always nice to see someone that can stand up for themselves when uh, life gives them a challenge or a test so that's just an ex ex a sample list that i've got here and i think every man should have a shopping list if they're looking for something long term if they're looking for something casual obviously their stands can drop and you know they can just have sex in multiple homes and toss them to the side of the road when they're done but uh, if they want something more meaningful, uh, something deeper, then always helps to have a short shopping list and also understanding female nature that they are emotional creatures will help men to have less resentment towards women. And I think the same goes for women. They should understand how men work too. We're logical creatures and it helps to have a direct communication with men. Tell them straight up, this is what I think, this is what I want, this is what I need. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say on this topic for now. Let us know what your experiences have been in the comments down below. Give this video a like if it resonates with you. Give it a dislike if it doesn't. And subscribe if you feel that you can get some value from this channel. Ciao for now.